barbecue isn't complete without burgers and hot dogs, but these old favorites can pack in a lot of calories and unhealthy fats. A traditional supersized burger piled up with cheese, ketchup, and mayonnaise can pack a walloping 667 calories and more than 30 grams of fat. And the good old beef or pork hot dog can bring in as much as 330 calories and 18 grams of fat. But there are great ways to keep these favorites on your grill and to keep them healthy. Chris Leahy from New York City's BLT Prime is here to give us some great tips on how to amp up the flavor while cutting out some of the bad stuff. Chris, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. Now, I love a burger as much as the next person, but yes. I want to make healthy choices too. Obviously, some great choices that you can make are your veggie burgers, ground breast of turkey or chicken are all great choices, but you don't necessarily have to lose the beef if you really want it. So what do you have going on for us today? What I have for us today is a 96% lean beef. We are going to make a little cumin scented beef burgers. Yum. And we're going to serve them with a little bit of yogurt cucumber sauce. So what we have here is we have our ground beef. Okay. We have a little bit of cumin, as well as a little bit of oregano, a little bit of our black pepper. Don't forget salt. Okay. Now what we've done is we've roasted some garlic on the grill. Okay. Sounds good. We're also going to fold in a little bit of crumbled feta cheese. Okay. When you choose feta, it's one of the lower fat cheeses, so you can use just a little bit of it and add a lot of flavor without adding a lot of fat and calories. Okay, I'm going to throw some burgers on right now. What we're going to have here, we have our little cucumber mint yogurt sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we have done is we have diced some cucumbers. We're going to hit it with a little bit of our garlic. And we're going to hit it with some sliced uh, leaves of mint. Okay. This is a little bit of yogurt. Now for this one, we chose a low-fat yogurt. And you want to make sure that you do go with the low-fat yogurt instead of the full-fat version. The last ingredient that we need to add to our yogurt sauce is a little bit of vinegar. The vinegar is going to give it a, like a really, really crisp flavor. Okay. okay. And when you add all this up, just a couple tablespoons of this is only about 15 calories. So it's a fantastic, flavorful choice to add to your burger and really stay away from some of those higher fat condiments like mayonnaise and some of the other dressings. Today, what I want to do is I want to make our burgers with a whole wheat pitas. So we have our pitas here. We just pulled them off the grill. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our burgers and we're going to slip her inside. So to that, we're going to add a little bit of our sliced lettuce. We'll also add a tomato as well as some onion slices. Now what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of our sauce, just kind of pour it right over the top a little bit. Okay. And then that'll be our burger. You know, hot dogs are uh, a pretty unhealthy choice, generally speaking. There are other options out there. You can get tofu dogs, you can get fat-free hot dogs. And a note about the sausages that we chose today, this is a chicken sausage. It's only 100 calories a link. Um, there is a little bit of fat in it, but that gives it a really, really nice flavor without, again, a lot of calories. So now for our sausages, again, we're sticking with the yogurt. Okay. Now, I personally love this sauce. It's called sriracha sauce. Okay, Now, sir that? Sriracha sauce is this really spicy chili sauce. But to balance off that kick, but again, we're going to try it out using some yogurt, which okay. is a low-fat yogurt. Now, this is very spicy. Okay. So if you do not like spicy, <laughs> you don't want to put too terribly much in it. Okay. But I love spicy. Okay. So go so for it. So we're just going to go ahead and just throw it all in. Okay. And then last but not least, we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice. And then what that'll do is that'll allow it to, again, be a little more vibrant and be a little bit more smooth consistency. Okay. So we're going to do it, go ahead and put on one of our little whole wheat rolls here. Obviously, you want to make really sure when you're selecting your sausages not to go over 100, 150 calories per link and to really watch the portion size and the fat content as well. Let's see how we did. In that traditional burger, you would have had 667 calories and 39 grams of fat, but our lean, high-flavor burger has just 400 calories and 15 grams of total fat. That's a substitution worth making for your health and for the taste. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me.